Hello, YouTube watcher. Welcome back to the series. Today's video will be a two-parter. I'll be reading three of the six letters written by an admirer named Laurel. She has it all. Elements of the Granny Fan, the God Squad, the Pick Me, an ESPN news feed, and delusions about the person she's writing to, all rolled up into one. We've had fanboys struggling with their sexuality, women who have been scarred by dysfunctional relationships with men, and fellow inmates who feel a sense of camaraderie with Chris. Let's see if we can figure out what Laurel's angle is. Laurel from Lahaina, Hawaii, letter number one. Dear Chris, I just wanted to write and say hello and introduce myself. I know you're going through a tough time right now, and I hope this letter gives you some hope. I currently live in Hawaii on the island of Maui, but I'm from Longmont originally. I used to be a professional snowboarder back in the day and moved here in 2005. As I write this, we're currently in the middle of a hurricane, so no work today, equivalent to a good old snow day, lol. The media has built it up to be this huge crazy storm, but only getting a little rain. So anyway, a little about me. I work for a vacation rental company, and we have about 20 condos we rent. It's a pretty boring job. I absolutely love the Broncos, and my favorite music includes Deftones, Jane's Addiction, Filter, and Stick Figure. That's reggae. I'm a single mother with one daughter, and I also have a baby grandson. I'm hoping to move back to Colorado in the next six months. I lived in Aspen Snowmass Village for about 10 years and call that area my home. My goal in reaching out to you is to hopefully form a pen pal friendship and give you something to do, and maybe look forward to receiving my letters. I'm an optimistic person and try to find the good in a situation. I'm sure that deep down you are a wonderful, interesting, and decent man. I like humor and jokes and know firsthand that a good hearty laugh can lift your spirits. I'd be happy to send you funny and interesting articles and pictures. You must be bored. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, I've included a return envelope and paper and hope to hear back from you anytime. I've put a couple of pictures from my town so you can see where I live. I write to you in strict confidence and promise to keep it that way. Know that I'm saying a prayer for you and everyone else, and you will get through this. I have to say, I feel like I've met you before, maybe in Longmont or Aspen. Were you ever over here on Maui recently? So strange, but I feel we've crossed paths somewhere. In any case, I'm happy to be some support for you. Do they let you have a TV? Do you need books to read, or magazines, or even a Bible? Let me know. I can help send those to you. Okay, take care and aloha for now. I'm on your side. Everyone needs someone in their corner. Your friend, Laurel. If Laurel thinks deep down, she's going to find a wonderful, interesting, and decent man in Chris. She'll be digging for a long while. I have a feeling, just throwing it out there, that these same women and men who support Chris and are in his corner would condemn a woman for having an abortion. Could it be their position that killing the woman carrying the child he claimed not to want would be a far more decent choice? Laurel, letter number two. Aloha, Chris. I hope this letter finds you in somewhat good spirits today. Remember, there is always hope. And today might be that day that brings you a bit of good news. I'm totally on your side. I hope you received my letter from last week. I just basically wanted to introduce myself and offer some friendship from over here in Hawaii. To give you an update here, the hurricane that was barreling down on us never hit our island and we just got some really crazy hurricane winds whipped through, and a little rain. Dang. I was hoping for more upheaval. Lol. No luck. As I mentioned before, I'm an NFL fan, and although the Broncos suck right now, I've kind of started liking the LA Rams. 
They have Wade Phillips, my fave, and Talib. Doesn't it seem like he belongs in L.A.? Yes, I do like him, though. Is there an NFL team you like? I hope you have a TV. And I love Seinfeld reruns. Oh, my God. If there are any newspapers or magazines you would like, I'm happy to send those to you. Crossword puzzles, etc. Anything to keep you busy and your mind sharp. Shoots. Didn't know that's not allowed. Sorry. But feel free to call collect if you need to ever. I know that I personally have done quite a few things in my life that no one would ever believe. And I'm sure I would be in jail. But please believe, we all get a second chance. Do not be discouraged by the media. Because we all know our country has very short attention span. And this will be old news in a few weeks. Promise. So moving forward, I will only send you funny and positive articles or comics. I'm not sure you really want to hear about my life here on Maui or not. I think it's weird, no matter where you are in life, there's always something better that you can't have. Or is that just me? I struggle to be happy and content, but can't. I always want what I can't have, mostly just living anywhere but here. Hawaiians and Filipinos hate white people. So much hatred in Hawaii. Okay, so much for my rant. No sympathy for me, I know. I'm not expecting to hear back from you, at least not yet, and I totally understand. And my purpose in writing to you is to solely give you a glimmer of hope and maybe a laugh or smile. Things have a way of turning around. Try to keep your thoughts positive, my dear. You can get through this. Until next week, keep the faith. Your friend, Laurel. Does Laurel see Chris as a comrade in crime? Sounded like she was about to confess to a murder of her own. Just barely missing being in my I'm in prison too episode. As for her old news in a few weeks prediction, well, she's at least three years late on that one. Laurel, letter number three. Hey, Chris. It's Friday, and I just wanted to touch base with you this week. I really feel I need to tell you, things are going to be okay. I know you must have a thousand things on your mind right now, but truly know that you can have a positive outcome to what lies ahead of you. I promise, God can turn things around for you in ways you can't even imagine. Just trust in Him, because I too have been in some pretty bad situations. And once I surrendered it over to Jesus and kind of just gave up, because there wasn't anything I could do at that point, things had a way of being okay. Like I said in my letter last week, you're a kind, decent man, and right now, please don't give up on yourself. You have a voice. You have rights. Hopefully your mind is sharp and your heart is tender. There are people that believe in you. Just please don't give up. Okay, enough preaching. Here are some things going on. I'm sending a couple of postcards so you can see where I live. Like I said earlier, there is some hard parts to living on Maui. Jeesh, if people only knew. My favorite all-time place to visit so far has been New Zealand. Oh, how I wish I could live there. It's a cross between Colorado and Hawaii. Pure heaven. I dream of visiting Switzerland, Norway, and Sweden. As far as local news... We're due for another hurricane this coming week, Olivia. I don't believe it, but I guess I have to be prepared. Damn, I'm just happy if I don't have to go to work, lol. Did you ever have to experience hurricanes at all? They definitely can be a little scary. Growing up in Colorado toughened me up, I guess. Blizzards, lightning and high winds. Oh, and mountain lions. I don't watch any TV if I can help it, but I do like YouTube and documentaries. Things that make you laugh. Yes, like Seinfeld, my fave. I can't stand politics either. If I can go one day without seeing Trump's face or hear about his rants, then that's a good day. 
However, I did go to a Bernie Sanders rally at CSU in FTC back in 2016, which was incredible. Cool guy. Right now, I'm listening to Crosses. It's a band with the lead singer from Deftones. It's definitely more laid back, but I love his voice. He also has another side project called Palms, which I love too. Lately, I've been watching Nine Inch Nails on YouTube, their Austin City Limits concert. Wow. But I listen to pretty much everything except pop. Can't stand it. How about you? Can I send you any music or books on tape to listen to? I just now went on the Weld County website and see that there isn't anything stating you're not allowed music or books, or at least I didn't see anything noted. I do see where I cannot send stamps or envelopes so that you can write me back if you wanted to. Oh well. However, I'm totally happy to accept a collect call if you need someone to talk to. And I hope the jail is offering you some counseling too. And of course, your family and friends are here for you, and me too, for the long haul. I have not told anyone I'm writing to you. It's none of their business. I promise confidence and support if you need it. I just want to give you some hope. Tomorrow will be a better day. Your friend, Laurel. Laurel writes again. You're a kind, decent man. She wants him to know... You have a voice. You have rights. Just let the irony of that statement sink in. I'm going to end it here for today. Leave your thoughts below. What made you cringe? Be sure to like and subscribe and join me next time for the reading of the remaining three letters from Laurel, where she expresses her hope to return to Colorado and, perhaps, have an in-person visit.